Hi there, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create some dark ambience layers. These are gonna be layers you can use to create any kind of dark uh, atmosphere that you wanna create, whether it's for a darker, creepy forest. I've also used it for like caves, caverns, um, like dark castles, dungeons, anything like that, it'll work perfect for that. So with that said, let's get into our project so I can show you how to create those. All right, so here we are inside of Reaper and I've actually loaded up a MC instance of Faceplant. And the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is to import uh, some sort of sound file. Usually what works best for these uh, ambient beds, ambient layers are gonna be longer sound files. Um, I'm kind of using this as kind of a base, a starting point that I could use for my design. So, all right, so the sound that I picked out here is the recording I made of, I uh, was just basically breathing through a kazoo, but I was blocking the hole. So you don't get the sound of the kazoo. You basically just get this airy sound. It sounds kind of like this. Right, so I did a 30 second recording here. Now, a few things I'm gonna wanna do here, because I want this ambient bed to kind of always be kind of changing up and sounding a bit different, I never want it to sound static. I'm gonna put the position to 100%. That basically means that the grains can start at any place basically in the sound file. I'm gonna increase the grain length to about a second, between a second and a second and a half. So now we have this. Right, so now it's like always changing. So this is a good starting place. Now, if I just pitch it down, I should already have some sort of cool uh, base layer here. So right, so this sounds already really good and it's naturally gonna loop by itself because the grains are always gonna be coming in and out. But what I wanna do now is add uh, more of a ambience feel to it. So I'm just gonna add a few effects here and let me show you kind of two different ways you could approach it. So first is I'm gonna add a dual delay. This is just gonna kind of elongate the sound, make it feel like it's in a space. So that's good. I'm also gonna add a reverb. That's also gonna help here. All right, so that's cool. This could be one way to do it. Now, I'm, let me show you another technique that I found works really well on almost any kind of sound source, and that's by using a convolver and by loading in your own unique samples in here. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna go in and see if I can find a cool sample that I can use in here. All right, so the sample that I loaded in here is actually I took from a grind coffee grinding machine, sounds like this. It's just like the clickiness from the buttons on there. Uh, so I'm just gonna bring this in a little bit here and let's have a listen. Already it adds this cool reverb sound to it. It's basically adding this coffee grinding sounds to the original sound. Uh, I'm just gonna stretch it out here. When you stretch it out, of course, you're stretching out the sample so that it's gonna pitch, get pitched down. So then you're, you're gonna get more of this darker tone to your sound. And you can also play with the tone here, but let's just have a listen to see what it sounds like already with this stretched out. All right, so with just that, we can get this really cool ambient sound. Now, like I said before at the beginning of the video, you can load almost any long sample file that you have recorded. So let me show you a different one that you could load in here just to give you some ideas of what you could load to uh, create some other different kind of textures or ambiences. All right, so here I've loaded a recording I made of a snowblower, basically where I was turning the, um, like the shaft, the chute, where it blows out the snow. So it sounds like this. Again, I'm keeping all the same settings that we had before. This time what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna turn on actually both lanes here and maybe I can play around with the mix here or even modulate it with an LFO, but let's just have a listen. Again, I'm gonna pitch it down two octaves here and let's have a listen to what it sounds like.
There you have it. So this one is more like industrial. You can feel like you're inside of this dark, uh, creepy, abandoned, maybe like building or something like that. All right. So just playing around with these, playing around, changing up the uh, convolver and the, uh, the and the sound effect that you put inside of here to change the response and how and how it's affecting the the sound here. You can just basically have infinite amount of ideas that you can come up with, and you can even start like layering things together. So this is nice for building out a, a, a bass section. If you have uh, other sounds that you can put in, you can just you can basically come up with infinite amounts of creativity here. All right, so here's another kind of dark ambience that I created. I called it Underground Tombs, and hopefully you'll see why when I play it. Uh, but basically, uh, here I had two ambiences. So again, here I decided to uh, layer them. You'll see this first ambience is, uh, this first ambient sound here is going to be going just through lane one. The second one is only going through lane two, and then both of them are getting combined into lane three. This is kind of like your master out, if you will. All right, so now uh, let's put each of these uh, on their own here. So I'm just going to play with this this top one here. And this one is just kind of like this uh, sparse kind of effect that's kind of coming in and out every six seconds here. So you can see it lasts six seconds. So if I play it. All right, and again, I'm do doing the same technique here where it's going through Convolver. So if I play without it. All right, sounds nothing like uh, like what it is when, it go when it's going through here. It's very different. I think through here, I put a, a metal impact sound here. So that's what the, this is going through here. So you're getting these like wooden scrapes that's going through this like metallic um, ringing sound, right? And then I just added a dual delay. So that's what this one is doing down here. Uh, here we have the same uh, effect, the same recording that I had before of the kazoo. And this time it's going through just a reverb and I had an EQ here and a filter just to cut out some of the highs. Okay, and now we put it all together and this is what we got. All right, so that is the ambience, and you can see here I did a bit of modulation. Actually, this one I wasn't, I didn't end up using, and this one is just modulating the pitch here of this uh, top layer. But this is it. This is how I do this. As you can see here, I was also experimenting with different convolvers, uh, instances here with different uh, sounds and different impulse responses inside of them. So, but yeah, this is this is kind of the technique that that I've used, and I've created a ton of ambiences this way. It's just a really easy way to create either anything from like wind, wind tunnels, or dark wind passages, or dark wind ambiences to these uh, creepier ambiences where you can put like creepy force. This can be like a base layer for a creepy force and then you can have like some animal sounds and things like that on top of it, right? So uh, anyways, in this video, I just want to show you kind of the basic techniques, the basic ways that you can approach it, the basic ways that you can create it. I hope you found that useful and valuable. If you liked it, I'll put another one on this uh, screen here that I think you will also like another video you might like around creating ambiences. And I think that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.